and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add another website or domain to your web hosting account with us. If you scroll down here and look at our packages, you'll notice that besides our starter cloud, each one of these packages allow for multiple websites. So sometimes we have people write in or you know, ask support tickets and they're kind of curious how exactly do you set that up. So I'm going to show you in this video. But before we get started, let's just talk why. You know, why would you want to do this? Well, me, when I first got started working online, you know, I, I had an idea for a website and I started it out and, you know, things went along. I was like, you know what? I, this isn't really working as intended. I want to start another one. And then as people started to learn that, hey, you know, I know Ryan knows how to make websites, people would ask me, you know, my brother, uh, my parents, uh, my dad had a small business, um, you know, churches, all kinds of different stuff came about. Now, um, so I ended up creating, you know, a lot of different websites. And each one of these websites, you know, to get started or to get uh, even created, they have to have web hosting attached to them. Now, this isn't really the best method if you're trying to, you know, do it for clients that need their own, um, you know, their own separate deal. This is primarily for, you know, websites in your business or, or even just, you know, in your personal arena. Um, you know, for example, if you own a, a company and you're uh, having a Black Friday sale or Cyber Monday sale, you know, you might want to add a um, specific domain, you know, just for that sale. So then you have the ability to do that. Um, you know, you might operate a blog and decide, hey, you know, on my blog, I want to sell um, T-shirts. So to sell T-shirts, I want to create another domain so I can do the T-shirt selling there and then my blog's my blog. So there's tons of different reasons, you know, why you'd want to do this. And, you know, making this decision early on, you save a good bit of money, you know, so instead of um, every time you want to start a new website, have to come buy a web hosting package, you can just start off, for example, with our Turbo Cloud package, but because it allows you the ability to create unlimited websites. So you don't find yourself, you know, a year or two down the road and, you know, have the Plus Cloud and you need more room or you know, even the Starter Cloud. It's a, it's a great package, but, you know, it only allows for one website. The Plus allows for seven. Whereas the Turbo and the business, it's unlimited website. So you have you know, plenty of room to create um, your website. And we also offer NVMe storage, which you know, is very, very popular because it makes your site load extremely fast. And for the low price of $8.98 a month. Now this is with our 36 month um, period, but um, you can learn more about that um, kind of down here. But with that said, I'm gonna show you how to set up you know, an additional website. So when you first buy your package, it's like you're going to enter a domain. You know, you're going to enter what domain you're buying the package for. So this video is assumes you already have your website, your web hosting package, and your primary website going, but you're ready to create your next website. You're ready to add another domain. So to get started, I'm going to log into my account, and you know, if you're following along, feel free at this time to pause and to, to log in so you can um, join me. If you're not yet a customer, you know, we'd certainly like to help you here at Name Hero. Um, we offer high-speed, affordable web hosting for multiple websites, and so uh, feel free to watch this video and kind of get an understanding of our platform. We'd love to have you join us. All right, so I'm going to grab my password out of my password manager on my other screen. I've got my demo email. Paste that in here. Log in. Two-factor authentication. If you are a Name Hero customer and you're not using two-factor, please stop everything and enable it because it keeps your account safe and secure. I don't trust passwords nowadays. I trust passwords plus two-factor. Okay, one four zero five four two. And see, this code is going to expire in sixty seconds, so I'm not scared to show it on a, a public YouTube video because it will be no good before I even complete this tutorial. Okay, so now I'm in my Name Hero dashboard. So there's two important pieces. One, I have to have a web hosting package at Name Hero to proceed. And I also have to have another domain that I'm going to be using. So everything is in my Name Hero account. I've got 13 different domains in my demo account. So I'll pick one of those. And I've got five different packages. So I've got um, you know, plenty of room to accomplish what we're trying to do. So the first thing I want to do is I need to get into my hosting package of where I want to add the website. So that's going to be in my cloud. So I'm going to open it in another tab. And I'm going to do this on my business cloud package because that allows for unlimited websites um, and it allows to do this with ease. So I'm going to click here and right here. Okay, so now I need to go into cPanel because cPanel is where I'm going to set up this domain. So I'll go to log into cPanel. All right. And so from here, at this top search bar here, I love to use this because it really saves time. So I can just start typing in add because we're looking for add-on domains. That's what this is called when you're adding an additional website to your account. So I'll click add-on domains. And I have to enter the domain name. 
And first off, we have to get the domain name. So this is where you enter the new website. So I'm gonna go back over here to my dashboard and we're gonna grab a domain. So I figure we'll use websiteaid.com. It kind of rings a bell. So we're gonna go to manage domain. Just bring it while that screen loads here. We can start typing it in here. Websiteaid.com. And I'm just gonna push tab and it fills this out automatically. So let's discuss this really quick. So first off, we have the domain. So this is the domain name. Now the domain already has to be registered. So for us in this tutorial, the domain's right here, already in our Name Hero account. Um, if you haven't yet registered the domain, you need to go do that really quick. Um, you can easily just go over to Domains and register a new domain, and you'll head over to our instant domain search to where you can you know, search and find your name. Um, if your domain's at another provider, you know, no hard feelings. If you're at GoDaddy, no big deal. Uh, but you need to log in to that GoDaddy panel, and um, you're going to have to edit the name servers because the name servers are what connects your web hosting package to the domain. So you're going to have to do that here in just a little bit. So it's important to kind of have that ready. Okay, so let's go back to cPanel. Um, we entered our domain, websiteaid.com. Subdomain. So the way cPanel works is when it creates a add-on domain, it needs a um, subdomain or really an account is what it should be called. They call it subdomain. Um, so it knows that, hey, you know, this is a completely different website than the one you're already running on here. So it automatically will fill one in, you know, just using the um, kind of the, the actual title of the domain without the TLD. Um, so it already entered it. Feel free to modify it if you want, but it really does not make any difference. Um, document root. This is where your files are gonna live for this specific domain. So it's, you can see it automatically enters that too. No need to modify that. If you want to, of course you can, but there's really no need to. If you need to create an FTP account to upload files for this domain, you can do it here. Um, I hate FTP, so I don't recommend ever using FTP for absolutely anything. So if you're watching this and you're using FTP, Ryan said stop. You should use S um, FTP um, if you're going to use it, or you know, you don't use it at all. But FTP is not secure. I really don't even like to have it, but some customers are still kind of stuck in their ways. But anyways, get that little rant aside. Um, we're ready to go ahead and add this domain. Add domain. Take a second here to load up. All right, the second part of this is we want to, we have to get our name servers. So let's go back here to our client area. So this is the package we're adding it into, this business cloud package, okay? So you're gonna notice down here we have our name servers, ns302 and ns303.namehero.net. Now that we've added the domain inside a cPanel, we need to change our domain um, to match these name servers so it'll all sync up. So I'm gonna go back over to here to my client area to where my domain is. I'm gonna select name servers and I need to modify it. So if it might say default if you have a new domain. Mine already has custom because I've obviously used it for another tutorial. So I'm just gonna paste these in here, 302 and 303. Grab this here. I apologize if my internet connection lags at any bit in time here. I'm uploading another video as we speak. So, All right, so I've got 302 and 303 here put in here. And again, this is going to be unique. So if you're watching this video, make sure that you're using the name servers that are under the package that you're inside of, right? So Business Cloud, uh, Web Hosting, we're inside of this cPanel. These are the name servers we need. I always like to also tell customers, you know, it's important that you've added it as an add-on first because some domain TLDs won't allow you to, um, you know, do anything and if there's not a DNS record corresponding. So it's a little complicated, but in uh, layman's terms, add it in cPanel first and then, add, and then add your name servers to your domain. So we'll go over here and we've done just that. Click change. Okay, now when I do this, so I'm saving it now. Um, I won't be able to access website aid right away. As you can see here, it sometimes takes up to 24 hours to propagate. So, you know, if it's a new domain, sometimes it might be a lot, or most often it'll be faster if it's a new domain. If it's an existing domain, it may take, you know, a couple hours. New domains, sometimes even in 10 minutes. But we like to tell our customers, you know, just allow 24 full hours to make sure everything is propagated um, so you don't get frustrated when you go to websiteaid.com and you don't see it set up or you think you did something wrong. Um, because it just takes time to propagate once you change these. So these are added, and it's added inside the cPanel. So we can go back, and you'll see it here. So now websiteaid.com has a document root. So this is where the files live. So if I click this, 
this is where all the files for my domain are going to live um, to where I can you know upload my website if I already have one um, or put you know, anything in this um, directory tree that I need to. Um, let's say I want to install WordPress though on this domain. Let's say this is going to be another WordPress website. So I'm going to go back to cPanel and I can go down here to WordPress and I can install WordPress for that website right here. So I can go to install now and you'll see I've got a drop down now to where website 8 is right there. So I can install it for that. Now you're also going to notice that you do have a subdomain. Uh, my primary domain is keydiets.com, but it automatically creates a subdomain for these files to live. Um, this is how you could actually preview the website. You know, if the web if the domain's not available or not um, propagated yet, you could go to website a.keydiets.com and see the files you upload immediately. Um, that's why cPanel has that um, native behavior. Um, but obviously, you know, if you're going to install WordPress for a functioning website, you want to select the actual domain. So, you know, when someone types it in, it actually goes to it. You'll notice that an SSL certificate is not yet found, and that is because we just changed the name servers. Those name servers have to fully pop propagate for auto SSL to kick in. Now, once it has propagated, you can force that auto SSL. You know, if you're like me and you get in a big hurry, um, I've got a video on um, YouTube on how to do that. Just look for you know how to manage your free and auto SSL with Name Hero, and you'll see a video on how to force run that certificate. Um, but you can still go ahead and install it, um, even though it says not found. It'll automatically install even if you do put WordPress on it. So. Um, the final thing is in directory, you know, I want when someone goes to website aid.com to see my awesome WordPress website. So I don't want to put a directory in here um, because then that would make someone have to type in website aid.com slash blog or slash WordPress and you know, it wouldn't make much sense. So most often you leave that blank. Um, I'm just going to do a quick install here since this video is not really the purpose to go through WordPress. Um, I obviously have to give it an admin username and password. We generate these for you automatically to make them strong. Um, if you decide to modify these, please just make sure they're strong or stronger. You know, use some numbers or different letters in here because if someone figures out your username and password, they could get into your site and you know, do some bad. What I always do is I'll um, you know, generate it and generate another one and then paste two of them together because that makes sure that it's nice and secure. It should say 10 for 10 under this little meter. Obviously your email address, so in case you get locked out, um, I always recommend you know, using an email that you know is working. So like Ryan at Name Hero, I know that works. Um, it defaults to um, the domain that you're using, and you might not have an email account set up. And you know, even though it does create a default account, just to make sure that you can get the email, I just use one that I know will work. If we want to add any plugins or anything or a theme, we could do that here. But for this purpose, I'm just going to install it. All right, so WordPress is now installing onto my domain. And after things propagate, I'll be able to see a new WordPress website at websiteaid.com, and I've got a new administrative admin URL. Now, if I go back to cPanel, I'm just going to go back into cPanel. And now if I scroll down here and go to WordPress, you'll see I can manage both websites. So I've got my key diets, my primary domain, um, and I now have my website aid.com domain. So I can manage everything in this one portal. Okay, if I want to you know, clone or stage or modify or update, I can do everything right inside of here. You know, I don't have to install any third-party stuff to do that. If I want to log into the admin area of either domain, I would just do it from right here. Now, once again, a word of caution, if I was going to click this right now, the admin area of website aid, it probably is not going to load because I haven't given my um, DNS time to propagate. So, you know, give that about 24 hours. Uh, sometimes it's sooner, but I say 24 hours is a good you know, rule of thumb. Okay, so that's how we would add a website to our hosting account, how we would connect the DNS to it. The last thing I'll show you is how you would set up an email account for that website. So I'm inside a cPanel. Um, if I click on email accounts, or I can just simply you know, type in email right here, you'll see I have, you know, this is my default email account, you know, system-wide, all the email goes to this one. But I would just click this create button, and you can see I have a drop-down that I can say, you know, what domain do I want to add my email address to? So I just created website aid, so I would, you know, do it there. And then I can enter my username, let's say Ryan, my password, and I can make it really strong. Let me hide it because, well, it's going to show it anyways. Believe it or not, when I do these videos, people actually log into this stuff, so I always have to change them. 
um, after I do it. But um, anyways, you know, make it strong. Please make your email passwords just as strong as your WordPress ones. I know it's a little frustrating to do, but it's important to keep people out of your email, obviously. Because remember, if someone um, you know has your email address and you know they reset a password somewhere, they could get your password somewhere else. So always important, have a strong email password. Store this stuff in a password manager. I love LastPass. There's tons of different ones out there. One password is another really popular one. Um, but regardless, use a password manager to organize them. Click Create. Boom. Now it's created. So now, you know, I've got a, an email account, Ryan at website um, I could check my email from right inside of here. You know, using Roundcube, I could open it up and I've got my own webmail client, you know, so my email address, all my email comes in there. If I wanted to set up my um, iPhone to, you know, manage this, I could click connect devices and I could email instructions to myself. Um, you know, so if I'm trying to do my iPhone, I could actually email myself and get these instructions. Or if I can log into CPAN on my iPhone, I know it's hard for some people to type it in. And you know, sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't because I'm just too impatient to type all this stuff out. But um, once you get in here on your iPhone, you can click this right here, see application iOS, and just click this link. And it's gonna download a profile on your phone to actually set it up for you automatically. Um, one day I'll get my phone out and I'll actually show a demonstration with a screen recording. Um, but it's really that simple to do. We'll discard this for now. But that's how it's done. Again, wait um, 24 hours after you set up, um, after you change your name servers, so everything's synced up, and then you'll have your add-on domain. And you know, as you go along, if you're adding new ones, let's go back here to add-on domains, you'll see them in here, you know, if you ever wanted to remove it. Um, if you wanted to redirect it, you know, if you say, hey, Ryan, I just have a domain. I don't want it to, to install WordPress or anything. I just have another domain um, to hang on to and I need an email at it. You could just go to manage redirection and redirect it to another website, um, you know, another one you own, maybe your blog or whatnot. Um, but we add that in there to, you know, make it simple for you just so you don't have a, you know, website out there with absolutely nothing on it. You can at least go somewhere um, that makes sense. You know, maybe even your Facebook profile for that um, business or website would make sense there. But that's how it's done. Pretty simple and straightforward. Um, all of our hosting packages, except for the starter plan, um, allow you for to have multiple domains inside of your account. Um, I always recommend, you know, the, the higher end packages so you can have unlimited um, just because you never know how things go. If you need more, um, sometimes you might just need a domain for your email. And of course, you can it's completely appropriate to do that. You know, maybe it's not even a website. It's just a domain for your email addresses. So feel free to ask any questions if you have them. Comment below this YouTube video. Um, I always appreciate the thumbs up on the videos. That lets me know that, hey, you like this content. It helped you out and, you know, I'll do more of it. Um, obviously, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I certainly recommend that you do so. As new content's released, as sales come out, you know, we publish videos. And if you're subscribed, you'll get a nice little um, notification, you know, the red bubble. Um, it lets you know and you can take advantage of that. Most of the time, the YouTube video comes before, um, you know, email, um, email sending out and stuff. So it's just always a good way to be in the know at Name Hero um, without having to wait. That said, thanks so much for using us here at Name Hero. We're certainly looking forward to you working with us and developing your um, business and website with us. If you're not yet with us, I certainly suggest you should check us out. Um, we look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much.